Hey everyone, and this time we are taking on a super fun project, a wireless motion controlled car. Instead of using a joystick or buttons, we will control the car by simply tilting an MPU6050 motion sensor. Forward, backward, left, right, all with hand gestures. And the best part, everything is neatly mounted on a breadboard. Now let's get into it. Now for this project, you will need two ESP32 DAV boards, one for transmitter and one for receiver, one MPU6050 motion sensor, one L298N motor drive uh, to move the robot, one small breadboard, jumper wires, one screwdriver, one double battery holder with switch, and two lithium-ion batteries, one USB cable for programming ESP32, and one four-wheeler acrylic car chassis to mount all components and ensure stability. Now, if you want to learn how to assemble this four-wheel acrylic chassis, click on the i button above. We have already uploaded a detailed video tutorial to guide you step by step there. Step one: wiring the transmitter USB 32 with MPU6050 module. Let's start with USB 32 that will act as the controller. Take one USB 32 and MPU6050 module. Insert these two modules in the breadboard like this. Let's connect them. Connect VCC of MPU6050 module to the 3.3V on ESP32. Connect its GND to GND of ESP32. Connect its SCL to GPIO22. Connect its SDA to GPIO21 of ESP32. This ESP32 reads the tilt of your hand using the MPU6050 accelerometer and sends movement commands by forward, backward, left, right or stop to the receiver ESP32 via ESP now protocol. Step 2. Wearing the receiver ESP32 for car control. Now let's assemble the circuit. Place the L298N motor driver on the top side of the chassis. The L298N motor driver has two output channels, level as OUT1, OUT2, OUT3 and OUT4. Now pick one wire from motor 1 and one of motor 2 diagonally. Insert it in output 1 of the motor driver. Then pick the other wire of motor 1 and motor 2 and insert it in output 2. Similarly, connect the motor 3 and 4 to output 3 and 4. Take the double battery holder and paste it here. Insert this red wire in the plus 12 volt slot and tighten the screw. Similarly, insert this black wire in the ground slot of the motor driver. Now fix the USB32 board here. First of all, power the USB32 from the motor driver. To do so, insert one wire from plus 5 volt slot of motor driver to the VIN pin of USB32 and insert one wire from GND of motor driver to the GND of ESP32. Remove these clips. Now connect the control pins of the L298 and motor driver to the USP32. ENA to GPIO25, IN1 to GPIO26, IN2 to GPIO27, IN3 to GPIO12, IN4 to GPIO13, ENB to GPIO14. Make sure to double check your connection with the circuit diagram. Now our circuit is ready and we need to add the code. Download both code files given in the description below. Open the receiver code file first if you have already downloaded the Arduino IDE. Otherwise download the Arduino IDE first. We start by including the required libraries. ESP underscore now.h enables peer-to-peer -peer packets between ESP32s without needing a Wi-Fi router. Wi-Fi .h is used to set the ESP32 into station mode and to read the board's MAC address. Next, we define the motor pins. IN1 to IN4 are the direction control pins that go to the motor driver input pins. ENA and ENB are the enable speed pins on the motor driver that we control with the PWM from the USB32. Next is the move care function, the movement logic. This function accepts a single character command and sets the direction pins plus PWM accordingly. F is forward. Set both motors to rotate forward and right speed 200. B is backward, reverses both the motors. L, left, pivots left by reversing left wheel and forward on right wheel. R, right, pivots right by forward on left wheel and reverse on right wheel. S is stop or default, set direction pin low and PWM 0 to stop motors. In setup function, we prepare the hardware and USB now. Start serial at 115200 so you can view debug prints. Set the direction pins as output because we will drive the motor driver. Configure PWM channels with LED setup function. 
and attach them to ENA and ENB using LEDC attach pin function. Put Wi-Fi in station mode with Wi-Fi dot mode Wi-Fi underscore STF function which is required before using MSP now and before reading the MAC. Print the receiver MAC address. Copy this MAC into your transmitter code. See next section. Initialize ESP dash now with ESP underscore now underscore init function and register the receive callback using ESP underscore now underscore register underscore receive underscore CV on data receive function. Loop is empty. All packet handling is interrupt and callback driven by ESP now, so the loop function can stay empty. This keeps the receiver responsive. Now plug your ESP32 receiver onto your computer using the VSP cable. Here select board and ESP32 dev module, then port and check which COM port your ESP is on. Now click the upload button. If it shows connecting and dot dot and it keeps looping, press read and the boot button until it starts uploading. Now after uploading, Open serial monitor at 115200. You will see a line like receiver MAC address. Copy this exact MAC. Now let's move to the transmitter code for the USB 32. Open the code file. We start by including all the necessary libraries. ESP underscore now dot H function allows our ESP 32 to communicate wirelessly with another ESP 32 without Wi Fi network. Wi Fi dot H sets up the ESP 32 in the station mode for USB now. Where.h required for I2C communication with the MPU6050. Adafruit underscore MPU6050.h and Adafruit underscore sensor.h let us read accelerometer and gyroscope data from the MPU6050 module. Next, we create an object for the MPU6050 sensor. This allows us to read acceleration and gyroscope values from the sensor. We define a structure to store our command that we will send to the receiver. This structure holds a string called command like forward or left that will be sent over ESP now. We then define the receiver ESP32 MAC address. Replace this with the actual MAC address of your receiver ESP32 that you have copied earlier. Now this ensures the transmitter knows exactly which device to send the command to. Next we define a callback function to monitor the sending status. Every time a command is sent, this function prints whether it was successful or not. This is useful for debug wireless communication. In setup function, we start serial communication and 115200 baud rate to monitor debug messages. ESP32 is set to station mode for ESP now. We initialize the MPU6050 sensor. This check if the MPU6050 is properly connected. If it is not found, the ESP32 stops running and prints an error. Next, you initialize ESP now and register the callback. ESP underscore now underscore init function start ESP now communication. ESP underscore now underscore register underscore send underscore CV on send links our send status callback. We then add the receiver as a peer. This tells the ESP32 where to send commands. Channel 0 is default. Encryption is disabled for simplicity. Inside the loop function, we first read the MPU6050 sensor values. It stores acceleration values XYZ. Z stores gyroscope values and temp stores temperature. Now for this project, we mainly use acceleration along x and y axes. We then decide the command based on the hand tilt. Tilt forward, which is the x axis acceleration, greater than 5, send forward. Tilt backward, x axis acceleration less than minus 5, send backward. Tilt left or right, y axis acceleration greater than 5 or less than minus 5, send left or right accordingly. Otherwise, no tilt, stop. Finally, we send the command to the receiver ESP32. ESP underscore now underscore send function sends the command structure wirelessly. Delay 200 function ensures commands are not sent too rapidly. And that's it. Now plug your USB 32 into your computer using the USB cable. Here select board USB 32 dev module. Then port and check which COM port your USB is on. Now click the upload button. If it shows connecting dot dot and keeps looping, press and hold the boot button until it starts uploading. And that's it. Both ESP32 boards are now programmed and ready to communicate over Wi-Fi. Now switch on the battery of the chassis, power the transmitter ESP and hold it in your hand. When if you tilt the sensor forward, it detects acceleration on x-axis and sends the command forward. Tilting backward sends backward, tilting to the left sends left and tilting to the right sends right. And if the sensor is stable, the command stop is sent. These commands are transmitted wirelessly using ESP now protocol to another ESP32 device.
The second ESP32 can then control a robot, car or any other device according to these received commands. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching our tutorial.